Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Fan of Fire Living Today, and welcome back to another Attack of the B Team uh, episode. So, I just learned the server has no name, so we're gonna be calling it. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna be calling it. I was gonna make a joke, but I thought about it, and it wasn't funny. <laughs> so, um, I have quite a bit of things to prepare today. First, let's get into bat mode. Um, not everything is all ready at the moment, but while in between episodes, I went mining down in these ravines. And, uh, it's really cool, like, once all the ores and stuff are out of here. Ooh, there's a fossil right here. I missed. Thank you. So these fossil things are pretty cool. They give, like, either fossils, relics, they can give bones, and these really cool things called skulls where you can put torches in, and you can use them as a, uh, lighting source. But yeah, it looks really cool with all the ores gone, because <laughs> since I mined it all in bat mode, it's like a bunch of little caves now in it, and so I can't, I'm gonna call these like the bat caves or something. Uh, but yeah, they're pretty cool, as you can see. Look at this. Uh, pretty easy to get lost in if you're me and suck with directions. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So I've I've got I went out and I gathered a little bit of materials, and I'm gonna be making a couple random things. First of all, so I have them all set up in these crafting tables. These are right here. They're all set up. So the first thing I want to make is the uh, backpack. So let's go ahead and grab that. So basically to use this, let's uh, morph to myself. Also, I did not know how to do this. So if you want to uh, more, if you want to do that, uh, what you got to do is you press the, on my keyboard it's right above my tab, but it's like the little squiggle thing. Uh, this key right here. Okay, I guess that doesn't really show. But it's uh, if you press shift and do that, it's that key. So it's those two symbols right there. So yeah, if you want to uh, put your favorites list on, that's how. And then when, oops, I set that to creeper. So as you can see, I just, uh, you just got to press that key. And a little star will come up next to it. You see it in the top right corner where the creeper is? That's basically what's happening right there. So I just set bat uh, right there. Uh, so I could just uh, change. So, oh, I want to be a human. Or a panda. I want to be me. I want to be me. Alright, so uh, I made this backpack because it's basically extra storage. And so basically what you gotta do is you play, uh, you can place it down. And you can access it like so. So let's put some bones in. And a relic. And then you shift and you break it. And... It goes on your back. So that's really cool, and that's why I wanted to make that. And so I'm going to keep it around. And there's the instructions again. <laughs> so yeah, I went mining, as I said, and uh, I got quite a bit of stuff. <laughs> and actually, let's place that down. Can you place it down from here? Nah. Wait, how do you... Oops, wrong key. Um... Oh, okay, so you just shift and place it. So let's take out the relic and that, and let's break that. Yeah, so let's put the relic up, adding to our total. So, um, I was playing last night a little bit, mining, and I found out about dinosaurs. I heard there's dinosaurs, but I heard you need a ton of this stuff, so I'm going to start collecting now. So, yeah, I went mining, and I got a ton of stuff. There's so many ores, so uh, it really should not be a problem, like, resource-wise. For at least a little bit now. Oh, there's silicon in there. I don't know what that's used for. Most of that stuff, I don't even know what it's used for. So, yeah. And I'm getting a little bit of lag. Sorry about that. So, I also made a uh, hammer from the statues mod. I'm going to be showing you guys about that here in a little bit. And I made luggage. Oh, I took out the recipe, but it's sticks, chest, and a diamond. And basically, what this guy does, if you don't know. Alright, let's leave that there. So you place him down, he's going to go run and pick that up. So now if we, oops, um, if you open him, he picked up that, that. So let's go drop it over here. Pick it up. And you see, he'll run over and pick it up. And <laughs> he makes a really cool sound. Uh, open up, please. So yeah, let's just take his rice now. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I wanted to make him just for fun. So, um... I want to do something pretty cool for interaction with my fans. So basically, all you what you got to do... Oh yeah, I think you can break them if you shift-right-click, I think. 
maybe just uh uh oh so I don't know what I just did but I think it broke them so if I place them and I shift okay so you just gotta shift and uh right click is that right click yeah it's right click <laughs> so you just shift right click to open them up or to break them and put them back in your inventory so that's pretty cool so he'll be cool to have around it's one I'm mining and stuff I don't know if he can die should probably test that. Maybe later. Well, actually, I gotta get some more food real quick. And let's go ahead and morph to a bat so we can fly around to do this. So I'm gonna try to get the Advanced Gen X mod going soon. Uh, in order to get the flying gene so we don't have to morph. Because I, I, that'd be pretty cool. I like, just have not having to uh, worry about it. So uh, we should cook this up. Uh, well, do we have any other food besides that? Doesn't appear so. Okay. So let me just grab some coal. And uh, basically how I'm getting this out, if you're wondering, if you uh, scroll with your uh, mouse wheel, uh, you can do that. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and put some coal up in here. And it's getting nighttime already. So we have to hurry, I guess. <laughs> so I, I thought about doing something pretty cool f for my uh, fans here, for interactions. So basically... Um, what I'll do is I'll hold a little contest. Um, so basically, all you guys got to do is put your in-game name down below, exactly like caps and everything. And then I'll make I'll put, I'll make a little area where I'll put like a statue of your character. I think it'd be really cool interaction. So if you guys are interested in that, please let me know and leave your IGNs down below, and I'll definitely do that for you guys. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool just to have a little uh, area where I have my fans. So basically, how the statues mod works. You place two uh, blocks of anything. Let me sleep first. I don't want to be bombarded by jungle spiders. Those guys are annoying. I have a lot of seeds now. I'll make sure to put those up. So, again, this glitch. There we go. Let's sleep. And there we go. Let's put this stuff up. So I'll be doing a, mood, a food mod later. Or the food mod later. And I got a seed. I hate having stuff in my inventory. <laughs> um, so let's grab that hammer. I already grabbed... Yeah, okay. I got everything else. So basically what you want to do is... Left or right click. And then you get this little inventory thing here. And you can see I'm basically sculpting a uh, Steve right here. But I can put in my name. Right there. And you see I have my guy now. And you can also customize his position. So I can move his arms and everything. That's really cool. Uh, so let's go in and play around with this a little bit. So um, let's raise this arm like so. And uh, let's keep these legs planted. And uh, make them look up that way. And let's sculpt. And there he is. So that's really cool. And uh, if you click on him. He has like this inventory thing, so let's go ahead and place a sword, wrong hand, in this hand. How does that look? Okay, it's going facing the wrong way. Uh, let's... There we go, that looks cool. So, I'll put another one. I need more dirt, let me get some dirt. Uh, let's grab a little bit of dirt. So I'm basically trying to make a little entrance where they, like you know in the, like the knights and stuff, how they have their... Wait, let's rotate that a little bit more. Uh, that. So yeah, I like that. So we can also put color on them, but I don't have cactus yet. Uh, basically, to do that, you just need to make a. Uh, oops. You need to make a pally palette, a palette, and you need cactus green, which I don't have. So I need to go find a cactus. Uh, but other than that, statue of the goddess. Whoa, that's expensive. But that's pretty cool to have around. Okay, so uh, so yeah, let me go get some dirt. Is that what I said? Looks like I don't have much dirt. <laughs> um, oh yeah, putting that up. Oh yeah, let's make another uh, iron sword here for them. Uh, so you can hold it. I'm gonna need to make myself another diamond so or an iron sword too. I guess I can't do diamond. Why not? I have the diamonds. 
So that's pretty. It's the uh, resources in this are pretty insane. So I can just do this, and I can move this hand back and down, and I can turn his. Which one's his head? This one. Turn his head this way. Raise this hand up like that. Move the head back a little bit like that. Let's sculpt that, and uh, let's click on him. Give him an iron sword in this hand. Yep. And let's rotate. Wait, is it that hand? Yeah. So we need to rotate that. Why is that not working? Do I need to put it? Oh, is this the wrong hand? No, because now it's in that hand. Um, so you can also give him armor and stuff. That's pretty cool. I was rotating the wrong one. Being being a dupe. Er, stupid. And uh, like that. And then you just walk under that. And that's really cool. I like that. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think of that. And um, so I really like that. That's really cool. And I think it's cool to have statues. So like once again, uh, remember to leave your IGNs down below, and I'll pick randomly, probably one per episode. And I'll add you guys to some area, like some garden area. I'll add your skins and everything, and I'll get color for them. It won't just be stone ones like me, unless you want it. You could tell it what material, or you could tell me what material you want it out of, too. It's so like stone or whatever. Oh yeah, let's make a diamond sword. Just real quick for protection. And uh, if you want, you can also leave a name for the luggage bag here. Um, I think you can name him with a name tag, so we'll definitely do that. Um, maybe we'll name him Michael, and then I'll make a necromancy guy and name him Max. That'd be pretty pretty funny. And that that sword looks weird now. Uh, can we rotate that backwards a little bit? Like that? Yeah, that looks alright. So yeah, one's a little bit higher than the other, that's okay. So yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> that's actually really cool. So I'll make sure to do a lot more statues, because I like the statues. So I'll be sure to do a lot of those. So um, I didn't, I want to get some uh, thermal expansion going today, a basic power setup and ore doubling system. So uh, give me a little bit of time to get prepared for that and find a location where I want to do it, because I don't want to do it out here in the open. Uh, maybe we'll go up in that hill. We'll dig in a little bit. So yeah, let me know. Or yeah, let me know your IGNs, and I'll put in a statue of you guys. And uh, I'll be right back with some Mind Factory. Um, or not Mind Factory. Um, thermal expansion, and I'll get everything set up, and I'll have a little room dug out for us. So yeah, I'll see you guys right there. All right, guys. So uh, I set everything up, and uh, I'm gonna try to walk you guys through this as best I can. But uh, keep in mind, I'm no expert in this either, <laughs> so I'll probably mess up something in the setup, and I'm sure I'm missing something. So let's get right into it. So first thing we're gonna make is some engines or dynamos. There's a couple types: uh, steam, magmatic, uh, compression, and reactant. We're going to be going with steam because it's the uh, bottom tier and it's easiest to make. So in order to make a yeah, steam dynamo, you need some copper gears. So we're going to make three dynamos. And, and I just realized I'm out. I don't have enough. Actually, let's make some more. Because <laughs> uh, I just realized I need two per thing. I don't even think we need one more so that means we need four more copper god dang it so as you can see I tried to be prepared and I'm not very good at it do I have any extra copper I have extra iron alright uh, so we gotta cook up four more copper to make one more uh... I don't know what that sound was it's kinda of scared me uh... one more copper gear and uh... so yeah Let's go ahead and cook that up, but while that's going, let's go ahead and uh, continue making some more stuff. So we need redstone transmission coil, so we need three of those, since we're making three engines. And then, uh, I forgot what, where you had to place these. Uh, you gotta place them at the top, like so. And then, like that, so we need one more gear. And we'll have our steam dynamos, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna set them up. And actually, I just realized we're going to need a, uh, where is it, a crescent hammer. What's that take? Iron and tin. So let's cook up one more tin while we are at it. Uh, tin, come here. And uh, this should be done. Let's cook that up. Let's just wait for it. 
So yeah, uh, this is going to double all our ores, and it's going to be automated, so that's good. All we have to do is make sure we have coal. So yeah, this is going to run on coal for a little bit, but luckily there's some coal right there too. And I'm going to make this room look pretty at some point, hopefully. And so we need to make one more engine, or a dynamo. And that's the wrong thing already. What do I need the tin for? I forgot. Oh, the crescent hammer. Alright, so let's make that too. Uh, I think I know how to do it. And no, I don't. So if you hold shift and you click... Wait, what did I do wrong? What am I missing? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I just had too much iron. Okay, so if you hold shift and click on the question mark, and you have all the uh, required materials, it'll just automatically put it in there for you. So that's cool. We're going to need this tool. And it's pretty cool. It could uh, rotate chests and stuff like that. So we have three steam dynamos. That's going to be our power supplier, our power sources. So we're actually going to need one more later on. But we'll do that later. And in order to make the machines that we're going to use, we need a machine frames. So let's get three of those because we're making three machines. One of which is the redstone furnace. And we need reception coils for that. Only one, but uh, another machine we're making requires one. So we just put that in there, and there's our redstone furnace. And then to make the pulverizer, which is going to basically double the ores, the redstone furnace just smelts. We need this, and that, and that's a pulverizer. And then in order to keep these um, steam dynamos from overheating, we need a aqueous accumulator. So in order to make that, you need to uh, do it like this, and a machine frame... Just realized I'm one machine frame short. And so we need to make one more of those, and I already forgot. So we need four more gold, four iron, which we have, and uh, four glass. I don't know if we have glass or not. I doubt it. And we got to sleep. So I found that you couldn't sleep in morph, which kind of sucks, but all right. I did not know that. And I'm still in morph. As you can see, I, I was still morphing. So I couldn't morph. So we need uh, glass. And uh, do we have any cooked up? That'd be great. Nope. And we need one more goal, which is up here. Cook that. Let's hurry. Get some glass real quick. So that we can just run back. Uh, right here. One, two, three, four. I'll fix that later. Don't worry. And we'll go ahead and morph to a bat. Can we fly? Come on, let me fly. Um, cook that. So yeah, sorry about this. I tried to be as prepared as possible, but <laughs> you can see how that turned out. Um, and if we have time in this episode, I'd also like to uh, um, mess around with the carpenter's mod, carpenter's blocks and the chisel uh, to make that room over there look nice. Come on, glass, hurry up. All right, there's our glass. Um, let's head back in up here and make the machine frame like so. And aqueous accumulator, bang. So we got two aqueous accumulators, a redstone furnace, and a pulverizer. And we're going to need to make some piping for that, which I was also not prepared for. So I'll probably get prepared for that. So in order to make the aqueous accumulator, or what it does, so if you have two source blocks on either side of it, it will start generating water. So basically it automa automatically fills up with water. And the reason we need water is to keep these steam dynamos from overheating. And plus coal plus water equals steam. So that's our power source. So as you can see we can uh, configure this. So I want to make the top output as you can see right there. That's going to be an output slot. And we're going to set it up over here too. And if you want to know how I clear everything, just shift and click on the middle one. And then just you could click on that to change it. So yeah. Let me clear out this. Um, figure out how I want to set this up. Check the time of the video. See how much time we have left. I don't know how long it's been. So yeah, I'll be right back and I'll check all this out real quick. Alright guys, so I gathered a little bit more materials. So I made some fluid ducts, like so. So we got 12 of those that hopefully will be enough. And now we also need to make leadstone energy condu conduits. So let's make 18 of those. Hopefully that's enough as well. 
and let's move this crafting station into the back over here and I dropped my axe okay so um let's see can we do it like that yeah okay so those fluid ducts weren't actually necessary so we just do it like that and then we could put energy conduits wait let's let's check something here um I want to see how expensive this is Electrum. Okay, we can't make Electrum yet. So we'll have to hold off on that. So if I put the, uh, uh, let's put the pulverizer and this over on this other side of the room. I, I don't know if that's, it kind of sounds like a waste of energy, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, like that. And then pulverizer, we need to set the output there and I want the uh what am I trying to do here I'm trying to make this bottom get outputted as well so I don't know if that's okay so oh here we go did the, uh I'm not sure how to work the bottom there but I want to get the out or the, I want the bottom to be outputted as well um I think that'll output both to that side Let's test. So, redstone furnace. It accepts input from the uh, side here, and it's outputting this way. Correct? Yes. So if I put a piece of cobble in there, uh, oh yeah, it has no power. Herp derp. Um, so it's definitely gonna need power to test. Well, we'll figure that out later. That's not a big deal at the moment and we're inserting it from the top so we can put like a chest into here and then we want this output here and we can put a chest there so do we have wood on us yes we do and we got our little luggage guy with us as well he's not out right now yeah I put him up he's on vacation so um let's see now let's root so now I'm not sure if these energy conduits are going to be enough and that's the outside world okay so I have an idea what we can do for this so we're going to use the forge micro blocks later on to conceal all this uh, so I don't know where we got to power this actually I'm pretty sure it's just from the back works and I believe those are inputting power uh, I hope so so I did waste some lead on this conduit, so hopefully I do have enough to get... Yeah, that should be enough. Hopefully. Yep, I think. And then if we... Uh, Alright, I think that's going to output. Uh, let's go sleep and grab some coal. And... F with the f uh, What's it called? Morph back. Uh, so lots of flying, morphing back to humans to sleep, and then morphing back to a bat to fly. <laughs> so, um, let's uh, transform back to a bat. Grab more copper, because it's totally needed. Uh, let's grab some coal to test this with. And let's grab some ores to test it with, too. So let's grab, um, copper, why not? Alright, so let's head back up there and see what we got. So hopefully, if we put, let's just put, uh, let's just put all of it in there. Why not? And uh, hopefully, yes, these are gaming power. Yes, we've done it. So I'm gonna let these charge up, and I'll, I I want to make sure this works. Um, I want to make sure this all works. So I'll catch up with you guys when we uh test this out and I'll make sure to put this other side into just and that's just to make power go by faster as well so yeah I will catch up with you guys when those are fully charged and we're ready to try it out all right so both of these guys are fully powered up I put some double chests here just to make sure everything for the input wise so we put copper in there will that we might need to put a hopper yeah okay so that makes sense uh, that is blue on top right Yes, okay, so what we do need to do is we need, we're going to need to make a hopper. I don't have the iron on me. So we'll just insert it for now, like so. 
and hopefully so I'll try to catch it here for you guys so basically it pulverizes and it does transfer right away and it turns in this pulverized uh, copper and when it pulverizes it actually turns in these copper ingots like that so every one of those copper ingots or copper ore turns into two pulverized and every pulverized turns into one ingot so you basically get two ingots per ore so that's uh, basically that's pretty cool and I, I made fluid ducks for no reason but I'm sure we'll use them at some day so we can obviously upgrade the system a lot and uh, so yeah but this is pretty cool it's gonna give us a lot more ores than what we had in that chest over there <laughs> so it's gonna be basically double what that chest is so yeah that's pr this is a pretty cool system um, but I think that's a good wrapping up point I don't know why that's doing that but yeah, I think that's a good wrapping up point for this episode. So hopefully you guys enjoy. We did a ton today, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching episode 2. Remember, if you liked the video, remember to leave a like. And uh, if you want a statue of you, uh, somewhere in my statue garden, wherever I decide to make it, make sure to leave your IGN. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. Once again, my name is Fanfire11, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.